Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing Dota Survivors. Now, this is a mode that we have played a couple of times before. There have actually been a variety of Dota custom games that we are heavily inspired by Vampire Survivors. And this is sort of the original one. It does even just use the Vampire Survivors picture here. Now, the reason why we're doing this mode today is because it's recently exploded. You can see it's got 1,500 people playing, which is massive. I'm not entirely sure why. I wonder if it's got anything to do with the fact that servers are dying and dead and laggy. So maybe playing a game where you don't really have to worry about the game not having the best connection is, uh, you know, a way to go. But also maybe it just got some promotion or maybe it just slowly accumulated players uh, who enjoy the mode. Either way, I thought it would be a fun opportunity for us to revisit it. So that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into the game. All right, we have very limited time to pick, so we got to be really fast. We want to go ahead and grab some stuff immediately, some stuff that's going to be good. Oh, Sight Gunner sounds great, Essence Shift. Now, I'm going for a right-click build. That may look a little bit weird, but right-click builds are actually very, very strong. And um, yeah, so so we're doing that. We're going to go ahead and get... Oh, Great Cleave, that sounds sick. Uh, we have very limited time. Oh, that's unfortunate. There is no... Uh, oh, time lock is good. Time lock is good. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see what else. Take aim headshot. I mean, I guess I don't mind headshot. Headshot seems okay. I gotta go quick. This has a very long cooldown. Side blades, uh, refraction. Why not? How many more? I think we have like two more slots for abilities. Untouchable doesn't seem too bad. And I need something for the early game, so I'm just gonna get quill spray. That's just gonna be kind of our early game clearing. I'm not sure if this is actually necessary, um, but that's okay. We do have to just like pick some stuff. And then uh, we need to pick a hero. I think a ranged hero with stats is, is generally good. So I, let's just go with gyrocopter. I mean, we already have a lot of gyrocopter stuff in here, right? Mostly side gunner, but side gunner is good. All right, so here's how the mode works. You can see there are uh, skeletons that are spawning on us. So every one of us has this spawning ability that has creeps spawning on us non-stop. We kill these creeps for money and experience and uh, for feeling good about things. Now, we don't really have to do that much to kill these creeps. As you can see, our heroes are automatically casting their abilities. I don't have to do anything for that. That just happens all by itself. And that's kind of the point, Vampire Survivors, right? That's a game that's all about this kind of like auto-casting of spells. Now, we can attack and we can buy items, although the items are a little bit differently. Um, casting abilities doesn't cost any mana. It doesn't. Uh, the cooldown is reduced drastically for a lot of abilities. Um, and some of them, not so much, like you saw the Dark Willow thing that had uh, a pretty high cooldown, so I didn't go for it. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of like how it works. The creeps do get increasingly more powerful, as you might expect. I don't think that's a big surprise. And uh, early on, it's going to be more, mostly just about kiting for us while we get ourselves a couple of things online. A couple of things that we want that will help us become powerful. And then mid to late game, we'll be right-clicking people down very aggressively. Just taking on the creeps through the power of attacks. Uh, because I think that's a bit better for the late game. What is the late game? Well, uh, what we're gonna do is right now we're just kind of farming these skeletons. And by themselves, they are not really that threatening. Um, these shouldn't be something that we need to worry about, to be completely honest. Later, though, we're gonna fight bosses. Uh, after, I think, like 12 minutes or so, something in that ballpark, we'll see. Bosses start spawning regularly. And bosses are way stronger than these creeps. Like, way, 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 way stronger. And these bosses, that's kind of like the main driving force, the main danger that we have to deal with. You know what, I think I'll just level up Quill Spray right now because it is actually just still super good for killing these. Um, so let's just get more of that. The bosses are the most dangerous part and we need to be ready for those bosses. And that's why I'm going right click because that's where right click is better. Actually, just casting is nice for these creeps and it's probably faster than what we're doing, but oh well. 
I'm also glad we ended up going for the Quill Spray. I wasn't too sure. You don't have a lot of time in the draft. Now, you can pause, but I, I feel like that's a little bit of cheating, so I don't pause. But uh, you could uh, pause. I'm guessing most people do pause during the draft, but uh, it does inherently only give you those uh, 60 seconds to pick a build. So that's what we did. Then the goal of the game is to just kind of make it through all of the bosses. You just kill all of the bosses, kill them as often as you can, and then eventually you are the ultimate um, Dota survivor. Uh, you've killed all of the bosses, and then you have to fight your team to see which one of you is actually long-term uh, the strongest. And then the game doesn't end because it doesn't have an end screen, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway. All right, we're going to just keep Quill Spraying here. Uh, take these guys down. No, Quill Spray was definitely a very smart item to get. Hand of Midas, it's a great way for us to get some extra um, some extra gold. It has a reduced cooldown, so it's actually just super sick. And then we get ourselves some boots. We'll probably go for the upgraded face boots, because face boots do upgrade fully. Like, they're actually pretty nice. Although, mm, I don't know. Right now, we definitely want the Demon Edge, and we definitely want some life steal. So let's just kind of go with those um, for the moment. Demon Edge is nice because it's cleave. Uh, for some reason, it has an inbuilt cleaving effect, which is very handy. Talking about cleave, probably should level up Great Cleave, right? That seems good. And I actually, I should probably get Untouchable. Then I can just stand and attack a bit more, right? Because right now, we're just taking a bit too much damage. That's okay. Level 8 isn't too bad, honestly. Like, I think we're doing quite fine. Just uh, Quill Spray is doing so much. Yeah, with Untouchable, we don't have to worry about taking damage anymore. Not really. Because uh, the creeps just aren't really able to put out enough damage. <laughs> so that's good. That's good spell I steal. Nah, I don't want to invest into something that isn't going to be helpful. Like, for the entire game. So I'm just kind of trying to... You know, focus on uh, the late game already. Well, maybe we should still move a little bit. Okay, uh, let's get Great Cleave some more. Yeah, let's max that out. I mean, it's Great Cleave, right? It's a, it's a great thing to have, that Great Cleave. And now we've got more Cleave. And I think now I want to get myself a Butterfly. Butterfly is great because it also has an upgrade. So it's going to be just a good item to have because it gives us a lot of power. But it's also a good item to have because it scales into the late game. And we definitely want to have it in, in our inventory. Now, our sixth slot plan is to get eight slotted. Because in this game mode, you can actually put normal items into your neutral item slot and into your TP scroll slot. Which is kind of funny. I actually think that's like probably the most interesting part of the game. And it makes me want to see what like an 8 slot Dota would look like. Wouldn't that be kind of interesting? I mean, not interesting in the way that I would ever want to see it like implemented into Dota seriously. But I think as a Dota bud, that is a very fun concept. And if anybody feels inspired to make that happen, I would be glad to play it. All right, let's get ourselves time lock. And we want to lock this one so we don't accidentally build a Mask of Madness. And uh, yeah, you can see at this stage, we are mostly just relying on our attacks already. Like the Quill Spray is still seeing some use, but nowhere near as much. Now, the first boss is kind of a big hurdle, honestly. The first boss is kind of brutal. Um, so we really need to step up our farming here. Um, now, if we die, we are not dead. Well, we are dead, but we can buy back or be resurrected by our teammates. We have an infinite number of buybacks and we can be resurrected an infinite number of times if our teammates click on our tombstone. However, buyback costs money and once we're out of money, we won't be able to buy back anymore. And resurrecting a teammate requires, you know, for you to not get killed by the boss in the meantime. You can turn off the creep spawns, but if the boss is just killing you, then I guess you die, right? There's just no real way around that. So death is still not good. I, I don't think that's a big surprise. <laughs> oh, it turns out my team is maybe struggling with that a little bit. Uh, do we have to go help? I don't know. I, I like being up here by myself, you know, because we are pretty strong. We can farm and uh, I can get myself some items. We'll go ahead and get ourselves... Are we just more untouchable right now? There's a butterfly. 
I'm gonna lock this as well, this demon edge. And uh, now we need to figure out what we are buying next. Probably just another demon edge. So there's a couple of items that we can build that are just kind of like huge items. So there is a dragon lance upgrade that is called the ice lance, which is massive, gives us splash damage. There's the shotgun here, and this actually seems probably like the best upgrade to get right now. Um, it also gives us splash damage, and it builds into the ice lance eventually. There are tridents, which are really good, actually quite cheap for what they give. So um, trident seems like a good idea. And you know what? I can actually just unlock here, right? Shotgun is better anyway. Yeah, look at that. Please leave a rating on the video. Thank you. Oh, we are clearing stuff so quickly now. It's fantastic. I'm going to get a point into Essence Shift. I'm going to get some Jingle Mastery too. Uh, that's because I don't know exactly when the bosses start spawning, but it should be soon-ish, and I, I want them there. That's what those abilities are for. Jingle Mastery and Essence Shift, they don't really help us against the normal creeps, but I'm not so worried about the normal creeps. This is really a boss fighting mode. It's not so much a creep fighting mode. While we're just fighting the creeps here, we're really just farming. Um, that's all that's happening. Alright, we'll max out Untouchable for what it's worth, and then... Yes, we do probably need to get some HP, so let's get a Dragon Lance and probably an Eye of Skadi next. Uh, I'm not sure if Satanic upgrades into anything. I don't think so, but that, we probably need to keep a Satanic. I don't know. Oh, where's the creeps? Hello, friends. Did I did I kill too many? Did they get scared? <laughs> I didn't turn it off. All right. Hello there. Alright, there we go. They took a little break, it seems. They took a little break. Alright, I'm gonna get a point into side Blades, just so we have that too. It's just a bit more splash damage and attack range, which should be good. Yeah, there may have just been too many creeps on the map, because my team... They're not killing them quickly enough, so I do need to help them. The problem is, I can't really help them in a way that isn't just me killing all of their creeps. Um, but... I mean, honestly, I, I can't be falling behind on money because my team isn't able to kill their creeps. That doesn't... That doesn't really work for me, I'm sorry. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna build up some HP now. We definitely need that. For sure. Alright. Look at us. We're working together now. As a team. Sort of. I don't think Pavel is getting very much here, but at least he should be getting some experience. <laughs> at least he should be getting some experience. Boss, is he here? Oh, there he is. That's the first boss. You can see lots of HP. Um, pretty scary, that guy. Alright, I'm gonna get... I think I'm gonna level up Essence Shift. I would really like to finish the Scotty before I do anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just kind of stand here a tad a little bit longer before I go deal with the boss or try to deal with the boss. But I would just like to finish up this item. Yeah, I guess I could move that in here. Haha. <laughs> but I do have to move over there and kill the boss. I mean, I am... Well, I am the strongest player on my team. I think it's just kind of a responsibility I have to actually do something here. All right. Seems we're strong enough to not just get destroyed, so that's really good. Um, oh, the first boss. Yeah, annoyingly, the first boss doesn't actually give us uh, Essence Shift. He doesn't count as a hero. So, this guy we can't actually Essence Shift from because he is just a creep. Alright then. Problem, friends. I am taking too much damage. I need to heal up a bit. Take down the creeps. You know, gather some HP from the life steal. Oh, you have healing. That's actually super nice. All right. I can disable. Yeah, my scaling isn't ready yet because it doesn't work on him. But uh, at the very least, we are doing some damage, right? It isn't that we're not doing anything. I would like to get some critical strike. That seems like a good idea. Oop, don't want to get hit by that. We'll just shove that in there. 
Oh man, that range. Oh god, okay. I need I need a distraction, friends. Cause he's just stunning me. Team! There we go. If my team helps by distracting, I can uh, interrupt a lot of what he's doing. Oh god, okay, run, 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 run. Yeah, boss is scary. <laughs> I have to take down these creeps just for some extra HP region. Alright, well, we're working on it. We're working on it. There's this. I'll equip this in here. Oh my god. Am I in, like, a sweet spot? Is he just perma-stunning me now? No, we're fine. Oh, I wish I had Fury Swipes. I just have regular attacks. Alright. Okay, we have better crit now. That should help a lot with our damage output. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Certainly does. And luckily we have the bash. I mean, without that bash... I don't know what I would be doing. We're getting there. We almost got him. We almost got him. It is so close. Yeah, that first boss... Honestly, the first one is brutal. As you can see. Devastating. But we got him. Nice. So, I'm not combining here. I'm just gonna get us. I'm gonna get a Satanic, I think. Yeah, this doesn't upgrade into anything, right? I'm just gonna buy a Satanic. Just have that, right? And then next up, let's get ourselves a Trident. Because that's just a lot of stats and a lot of power. Alright. Jingo Mastery, level that up a bunch. Should probably get more Sight Gunner, but I feel like I'm already attacking so quickly that Sight Gunner is maybe not the most important thing. Oh, man. What a guy, that boss. Very scary. Terrifying, right? I don't know, I kind of like that though. Like, at the very least, they do feel intimidating, right? Uh, we should get Saint and Yashin upgrade this. Ah, okay, interesting. But I can also upgrade Saint and Yasha into this. I hope so, at least. Alright. Oh no. My team has, like, a lot of creeps again, so I can't farm. Oh no, Rashad. Oh no, this guy also doesn't have it. Oh, this guy also doesn't have stats. <laughs> I swear, they are bosses that have stats. <laughs> it's just not these guys. Oh no, okay. But, but this one doesn't stun as much, so he's not, not as scary, I think. Come on, give me a bash. Very good. We can interrupt his ability. Yeah, he does this fire spit, but like as long as we can interrupt it, we're fine, and we can interrupt it easily. Uh, let's get ourselves this. Is minus armor godlike here? Minus armor. You can definitely get a lot of minus armor for sure. Very good. Yes, yeah, see that first one is way harder. <laughs> the first one is so much more difficult. Hey, Sailor, thanks for the hundred and six months. Appreciate it. The first one is kind of like a check. And I actually don't mind it that much that the first one is difficult. Um, because I bet the second one is is factually easier to kill. But what is neat uh, is that it just kind of makes it so, look, if you can't kill this, you're not going to be able to kill any of the following ones, right? So like, you yeah, gotta kind of work your way through it. It immediately t gives you the proper challenge, which feels... Appropriate. Friends, you gotta kill the stuff, otherwise I'm not getting any money. Okay. So, uh, we can upgrade this into this. It costs 20,000 gold, so we're a little bit away from that. What about Butterfly 2? That one is only 15,000 gold, so... Hmm. <laughs> oh no, another boss that doesn't have stats! I swear, there's some that do. Yeah, but at this point, we can handle this. Look at it. Get stunned, nerd. Get stunned. No, pro. 
problem. We actually have a lot of attack range, which is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy hardly counts as a boss, which is kind of a big creep, right? We'll just take this guy down. Honestly, the uh, time lock is MVP, right? Amazing ability. Okay, more refraction. Eh, I think I'll get sight gunner. I don't know. We'll get our stuff when we get to it. Right? It's not super important we have it right away. Okay. Oh, nice. Look at that. The trample. So it seems that overall my team is actually doing a lot better now, which is great. That's very nice to see. It's good that I can rely on them. I, I think we will just save up 20,000 gold and get a nice lance, right? Because it just opens up a lot of inventory space. Like, it may not be the most cost-effective item to buy right now, but... It's just like, it, it gives me inventory space. Uh, it currently has I currently have uh, three items occupied by this. Can condense that down and then buy some other stuff, which seems like a good way to go. What's next? Ooh, look at this guy. Still no stats, but, you know. At least he looks nice. Go beat up that deer beast. Alright, more sight gunner. And, uh, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't stand too much of a chance. <laughs> yeah, our damage output is quite good now. With all of these items. I'm pretty happy with my um, ability build here, if I'm honest. Right, Quill Spray was just right in terms of carrying us through the early game, but then it didn't really require that much more. Uh, or like, sorry, but then it didn't require anything else to, like, get us to a stage where we can just get through the creep waves with attacking. So we didn't waste more than one um, spell slot, uh, which is nice. Admittedly, maybe it would have been possible to do it to get here without the quill spray but I don't know I, I think the quill spray was a good choice I think that was a good one sell Midas why it's just guaranteed money I mean I almost have it anyway I got my my ice lance uh, so we need to move some stuff around here we go and then buy an ice lance very good so this gives us a ton of stats as you can see and it's just kind of like unifies all the different things that we just had. Next up, uh, Stygian Desolator, and that builds into a Desolator Assault and into Desolator Free. And this one, this one seems good. Because it gives us minus armor and lets us maintain the critical strike. I mean, to be honest, the Desolator Assault would be good too, but like maybe somebody on my team can have that instead. I'm not sure if I need to be the one to carry that item. Upgrade Midas. Can you upgrade it? Oh, you can upgrade it. Oh, I didn't even know that. This is uh, Omni Knight, but not really Omni Knight, so still no, no stat. <laughs> we'll get there. Oh, look at that. We can get a pirate hat. That sounds fun. Alright. Take down a couple of these creeps. No problem. Hmm. <clears throat> Also, thank you, Sailor. I don't know if I said thank you, but thank you very much. Just kind of in the middle of a game right now, so I tend to miss some stuff. And I tend to miss if I miss something. I forget. <laughs> no upgrade Midas crashes the game? Really? Does the Midas upgrade crash the game? Okay, don't upgrade your Midas. You have it. All right, it's just uh, all right. Like, apparently, the patch notes just just let's not risk it, okay? We don't need no Midas upgrades. Uh, I can honestly get rid of the Midas in general. Eat a moon shard. Sell this bad boy. Get you. And uh, now, I think I'm just going to get more Refraction. So Refraction is definitely like one of the weirder choices in my build. But I just thought it would be nice to have a way to, you know, kind of block a couple of hits. 
Because I don't know how much the creeps actually will be able to attack me. And it doesn't seem like they can really attack me all that much. Just because our damage output is so fantastic. Beastmaster. With stats. Essence shift. Jingle mastery. Now we're talking. Look at us. Look at the stacks. Look at how much we're essence shifting. Yes. Team is dying, but that's okay. It's not my responsibility to keep them alive. My responsibility is to kill this boss, and we're going to kill the shit out of it. <laughs> Look at that. Essence shift so good. So good. Now I'm just going to keep attacking this guy. I'm not resting anything. I'm not helping anyone. I'm attacking the boss. Until either the boss or me falls. I'm sure hoping it's the boss. I probably shouldn't buy anything, right? I should just keep buyback in case. But it would help a lot with the damage, probably. Am I even dealing damage? I... Uh, not really. No, I am. Oh no, he's got so much healing. Shit. Fuck. Alright, bye back. Gotta keep going. Gotta just kind of keep attacking. Man, he's so strong. Yeah, our damage output is just like not quite there. Come on, friends. We can get him. No way. Oh, he's got so much healing. Fuck. What do I do? These wild axis stacks, those are the problem, right? Okay, I can perch them. So that's good. My team is resting each other. I can turn this off so we're not being attacked by the creeps for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna see if I can resurrect. No, I need to attack. If he's attacking me, I need to fight back. Alright. Can you move the boss a bit? I don't know, he roots me a lot. Oh, I just need to keep hitting him. Doesn't seem like we're able to bash him, unfortunately. Oh man, I'm just not getting him low. BKB. What nonsense. Do I buy a Desolator? I mean, I think the problem if I buy, right, is that I do just give up. He's stealing gold from me. I need to turn this on so I can farm in the meantime. If I buy this... Then I can't buy back anymore. But I think that's just gonna be the plan. I, I need to just have more damage. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. That's fine. That's to be expected. Never mind. Sorry. Because I need to have this in here. Okay. Please help. Please be enough damage. Oh my god. Are we doing damage? I need more healing reduction. Is that enough? <laughs> I have a huge number of these stacks on me. I gotta perch them as soon as I can. I can't, I can't, I can't get him down. I can't get him below the number. Sorry, I just, I can't rest. I need to attack. <laughs> I mean, I am farming. And he's not really killing me. I need another dispel. 
What could I buy? Get BKB? What's the cooldown of this? 30 seconds. Okay, so I, I can use BKB. I mean, I got him to 17,000. I am doing damage. Never mind. He's back, back up. <laughs> This might take a little while. No, look, I'm getting him down. It's, it's it's slow, but it is happening. It is happening. I am dealing damage. I gotta get a Scotty. All right. Come on. I almost got him below 10k. Come on. Look at this. We can do it. We can do it. It's hitting so much again. We're making progress. It's slow, but it is happening. 5k. Fuck. Figured Lincolns. <gasps> Come on! Come on! Why is he not dying? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> just, just one good crit. Yes! I have done it. Are you proud of me, chat? Alright, I'm leaving resting up to you. Because I need to farm. Oh my god. Alright, let's upgrade our butterfly to a butterfly 2. Oh, what a struggle. But we made it. We got him. So that's good. Yeah, the bosses do spawn pretty frequently, so uh, there's, there's another one coming up. <laughs> There's a number one right around the corner. Alright, so we've got Butterfly level 2 now. Does Divine Rapier have an upgrade? No, that's not even particularly good, right? Uh, what else can we get? So the best item... What is this? Ice Heart. Um, do we want that? Alright, there's an Alchemist. was decidedly too close to me, but he's got a blink. So I can't really prevent that. No, this one doesn't seem as scary, honestly. This one seems much more doable. <laughs> I don't know why the other one was so scary. I guess it's probably because he had that, like, stacking damage effect. That's good. We got him. So anyway, I think you can see why I like um, attack us over cast us, right? MKB builds into the Thunder Bar. That doesn't seem that good. That doesn't seem that useful. It's like uh, Mjolnir MKB. Trident? Castles are better than attackers. Are they? Last time we played this, he told me attackers are better than casters. Alright. Never mind. Whatever Nail says. Why are you even watching me? Go watch Nail's fucking YouTube channel. 
Snails just actually played this mode a lot. I only played it a couple of times. So, like, I'm telling you what experience I've had with it, right? I'm not telling you general rules. Oh, there's Underlord. Oh, fuck. Okay, I just hit him. What? Well, we died. I think we might be dead. I honestly, I'm not doing damage to this guy. I mean, I'm, I'm just not really able to hurt him. Maybe I should get out of the fire. But uh, it's hard to get out of it. It's hard to get out of the fire, is all I'm saying. <laughs> should turn off creeps? Why? Does he get healed for the creeps? Creeps give him atrophy aura. Oh. Okay. Well, this might take a little bit. I mean, I gotta get out of here, right? It's just such a powerful slowing effect. And like, there it is again. No, no, he got me. Nope, he can just kind of get me. I don't think we're making it past this one, friends. Either way, I think you get the idea of the mode. <laughs> there is also a PvP section, which uh, maybe we can visit that as well, right? Um, this That's pretty much all this is, by the way. We just kind of keep doing this. There's more and more bosses. They're all pretty similar to this one. Um, and at the end of the day, you just kind of like hope that you can do enough damage to them, which is turning out to be very difficult. No, I don't know. I guess we're making some progress. I just can't sit in the fire, but like I also... You know, like he just kind of casts it pretty frequently. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can get him. I mean, he's actually dropping low. We're starting to get there. Oh, it's like, it's just... If I'm in the fire, I'm healing him. I gotta get out of there. I just, I just don't know if that's worth it. Like, because I'm losing time where I'm not attacking him, right? Oh my god, they have so much healing. Do we want Ice Heart? Like, I don't know if this cold attack is a different cold attack effect. No, I think we might actually get him. Oh, I thought we were gonna lose here, but uh, maybe not. I mean, I'm, I'm making progress. Pretty much every time I get a crit, I deal a little bit of air, like a little bit more damage than I did before. Sort of. 3,000. Come on. Oh, we did it. Damn, I really thought this was just going to be over here. Alright, I'll resurrect one of you. There we go. <clears throat> Everybody go resurrect one, and then we're good. We can get back to fighting. Revenant Brooch to get through armor. Well, Revenant Brooch is only good for, like, five attacks, right? Like, that feels... That feels not enough. She was got upgrade into anything? No. Are there any items that we could get? I mean, I guess we just kind of keep buying these icy lances, right? Because they're just like massive stats. Do we want an ice heart? Is that actually what we're looking for? It's got a fun icon, so 
hard to argue with that icon if I'm completely honest. Are we actually applying something other than Ioscardi? I don't know if we're applying Ioscardi anymore. Oh no. This guy has oh no, it's in the circus blood. Oh my god, there's so much healing! Yeah, but we're doing damage. The Soul Cross upgrade. I was just kind of hoping one of my teammates can have that. But they do not. They don't have enough money. Although we are making good progress on this fella. Ah. Hey, we got him. All right, never mind. We're still in it. We're keeping going, friends. We can do it. Believe in ourselves. Like a little bit, not too much, though. <laughs> Don't get your expectations up so high that you think we're gonna win. Because I don't know if we're gonna win. Yeah, unfortunately there isn't really a way to like redraft, right? Like it would be nice if I could roll my abilities a bit more, get rid of this maybe, get rid of this. I don't know, find some some Fury Swipes mostly. Fury Swipes would just be great. I would love to have Fury Swipes. Alright, do we have an Assault Cross? Yes, we do have. Okay, so the Sven is good. The Sven is worth keeping around. I want to protect the Sven. Alright, it's a bad rider. I am doing no damage. Does this guy have a Bloodstone active or something? Alright. Well, we got to build up Essence Shift first a little bit anyway, right? Attack speed is 700, it's maxed out, that's good. Well, Sven is dead. Well, I'm dead. Well, not quite. I am dead. Wow. Look, I see my sole task as attacking the shit out of this guy. That's what I'm here to do. Anything else doesn't matter. Wow, I need a Lincolns. You just kind of get combo killed, right? Can I sell BKB for Lincolns? Wait, that it? Is that it? I'm done? Oh, I'm out? They got me. I think that's it. Oh, damn it. Oh, can you rest me? Are you tanky enough? No. Okay, we've got the Sven. The problem is if we're just playing to survive, right? We're not dealing any damage. And I think that's it. All right. I don't, you know, I don't feel bad about it. I feel like we made it fairly far into the game. The game is just a little bit of nonsense. But let's have a look at the PvP section as well. I think that sounds like some fun. Alright, PvP is a bit different because in PvP we want to kill our opponents. First team to get 50 kills wins, so we want to get abilities that are good for that. Uh, so we gotta kind of think a little quickly, let's just go ahead and pick up a bunch of stuff because there's really, there's not that much time. Lion, all of Lion stuff seems good, right? That seems alright. Um... We can get maybe maybe Avalanche, that seems good. Stuns are always handy, right? We're kind of like... Oh, wait, there's no... That's a shame. I was hoping we could get the... Um, oh, Mystic Snake is fun. Mystic Snake Mana Shield? I mean, Mana Shield is kind of free, right? We don't use mana anyway. So that seems good. That seems good. Uh, Blink. Ooh, let's get a Counterspell as well. That should be good against Heroes. And then we just need to get maybe maybe Chemical Rage just for the healing. All right, we have a build. We have something. Um, maybe our damage output is a little bit low, but we have a bunch of Disable, right? And uh, I think at the end of the day, that seems good. And then we want to get ourselves a hero that has the fattest stats. Who's got good stats? Int is actually particularly nice. Wait, Medusa has strength gain in this? Well, fuck it. Let's go with Medusa then. 
All right, Axis first. So you actually start with a level of Greville's Greed already skilled, which is super nice. Like that's uh, that's just uh, very beneficial. But yeah, so we are on this map here. We're on the map with the opposing team. And whoever gets uh, 50 kills wins the game. So if you are feeling like you can take them on, if you feel like you can uh, fight them and win a fight against them, get some kills early, you can just kind of like start hunting really quickly and start looking for them around the, the map. Uh, but also, maybe that's not the best idea. <laughs> maybe that can be tricky sometimes. So yeah. So we'll take these guys down. Um, I'm thinking... Well, we definitely want to get... Do we want to get a Hand of Midas again? I don't know. That's like maybe a bit of a slow item. But it does give us like very sustained survivability, which seems handy. Like a Mystic Snake that'll bounce around a little bit. And the Aghanim Scepter, unfortunately, won't do anything because we don't have Medusa's ultimate. Uh, to benefit from the Aghanim Scepter, you do need her ultimate. That's just how it works. Alright, yeah, how do we... I think, I think honestly, Hand of Midas is a bit too slow here. Right, let's just get ourselves our... Our upgrades, or, or let's get ourselves our abilities and some items that actually, like, help us fight right away. As opposed to getting, um... A Hand of Midas. Magic one, that's an interesting idea, yeah. Oh, that actually seems really good. Smart thinking. Not so good in the PvE mode, but in the PvP mode for sure. I mean, I guess we gotta check if it actually works. Alright. First we need to get some levels. Uh, let's get... Do we get Avalanche? Yeah. I well, actually this is more damage, right? We do need to just kind of maximize our damage. Usually it's best to just... Get a point into everything. Level up all of your spells. Um, because then you just have more spam. Tends to be better at optimizing the damage. Kind of depends what you have though. Certain abilities are so good that you just want to max them out. Right, Quill Spray was one of them. But like Zeus's Arc Lightning is also just fantastic. So, anyway. Go ahead and bonk them all up there. Very good. I mean, that's just uh, so nice, this Earth Spike. Uh, let's get ourselves Avalanche. Just another source of damage. Although right now our healing is currently uh, not doing quite as well as I would like it to. Bounty Rune. Probably best to get some Brutes. Oh, wow. These creeps are a problem. We need Aghanim Scepter, right? Because it's uh, good for Finger of Death. That seems like something where... We have Finger of Death with the reduced cooldown and AoE. That should help a lot against these creeps. I mean, that's kind of the goal with it, right? So... Gotta get that set up first, though. Oh, nice. I'm struggling. <laughs> this build doesn't seem as strong. At least not yet. Like, I mean, I guess with the other one, we struggle a little bit in the early game as well, right? But honestly, our damage output just isn't quite high enough, it seems. If I max out these, that should help a lot. So we'll level this up. We'll get more wild access right now. I mean, it has a very low cooldown, and it is sort of magic fury swipes, right? So it does add up very nicely. It even enhances the damage of our other abilities. And I, I'm just gonna get myself the um, Aghanim Scepter. So Mana Shield, so far, it doesn't seem to work. It might only work against heroes though that could be a thing right it also seems to have a much lesser absorption so who knows maybe it's working maybe it isn't working no you don't lose mana oh i am taking less damage oh ah, okay so i just can't lose mana okay so mana shield is pretty nice then it's just damage 
damage reduction, right? Just 30% damage reduction. Alright then. That's pretty handy. Do you mean skill finger of death at level 6? Honestly, I kind of want to just get chemical rage. Because we'll have permanent chemical rage and that should be some really nice health region. That seems better. Gives us some more time to farm up for the thing of death anyway. Here we go. 50 health region is just a very significant amount, right? So far, not too many kills. It seems both teams are happy to just farm up. I mean, these guys are dangerous, these little critters here. They're definitely doing a lot of damage to us right now. I mean, I could get some sort of um, right-click items, right? Like, I could get, like, a Maelstrom. Probably not a bad idea, to be honest. I'm already kind of committed into the Aghanim Scepter, so I'm just going to finish up my Aghanim Scepter first. But I think afterwards, a Maelstrom seems like actually a really nice way to go. Alright, Thing of Death coming up. We will skill it because we don't need that much more gold and these creeps. They do become worth more and more. Oh, there we go. It doesn't automatically put itself on autocast. That's kind of fun. But I will put it on autocast because that just seems appropriate. I get why, you know, you might want to save it for fighting heroes. And that seems good. That seems valuable. But uh, right now I am desperate for any damage I can get. <laughs> literally anything, that that would be great. I'm, I'm down for literally any damage. Please, thank you. No, I might actually disable it right now. There we go. Okay, we're good. So its cooldown should be lesser now. Oh, okay. It's not, not that effective just yet. Let's get some lightnings. Let's just do it. Let's just, let's just be Medusa. We have Chemical Rage. Chemical Rage is good. It's a strong ability for letting us deal some, uh, you know, extra attack damage. You can see our attack speed is actually pretty high already. I'm going to get one point into this. I'm going to go ahead and max out Wild Axis some more. Just one point of this because I'm imagining we'll run into some opponents pretty soon. It feels like it's time for that. Alright, there's one of them. Should we... I think I might just like leave this not on autocast. Like I'm just gonna put it like this so I can uh, farm thing of that. Thank you. Got a stack. <laughs> hey, I, I mean any any stacks will, will be great, I think. They all help us out. It'll give us some extra damage. Oh, there's somebody. Okay, you're probably dead. Uh, there's a Marcy. She's level 4. So our opponents are struggling a bit too, it seems. They're not having the best of times. Coming in. Thing of death. I mean, I've clicked it. I'm just gonna see if my Medusa gets there. We are kind of quick. 350. She's got way more movement speed than me. Never mind. We are not that quick. Come here! Come here! Oh, nice. It worked. Just yell at them. <laughs> we get multicast? Probably, yeah. There's an item that gives you multicast, which is quite good. Turns out having a 30% chance to multicast is nice. But I think right now, getting something that helps us with attacking is probably just more useful. All right. Thing of death. We need a tad bit more gold. There we go. We've got some lightnings now. Oh, that actually... That's actually great. That's so much more damage immediately. Although the creeps are dangerous and are killing us. <laughs> so... What's next here? To be honest, it seems like getting the increased damage reduction might be the way to go just out of necessity because otherwise I think we're just gonna kind of die to the creeps and that's probably bad so 
So I'll go for for that for now. Extra attack speed is good. Um, we'll save a skill point. Mjolnir. Oh yeah, that's neat. It auto casts on us, so we just have that all the time. Sick. Alright, hello. I'm just gonna attack you. Nice. Almost level 12. Leveling up Finger of Death would be super nice because it does actually reduce its cooldown. And we get ourselves more chemical range and I think more mana shield. Hello. Nice. Just just hit him. <laughs> hey, we're actually pretty strong. I mean, the creeps are scary, but uh, we can... We can fight the heroes just fine. So do we want the multicast stuff right now? I'm thinking we might actually want to go for like a butterfly for a bit more attack speed. Alright, I'm gonna get Hex. It's another tool to fight heroes. Multicast is probably gonna have to wait a little bit. Alright, there's the spin. Oh, this stage we're actually doing quite well, aren't we? Pretty fantastic how our damage output is working out here. I think it might be time to level up Grievous Greed a bit. Well, Grievous Greed, as you can see, it has a much lesser bounty increase, but uh, considering how many creeps we're taking down, that is still significant money. I'll just take this. And then we can upgrade this into a Thunder Bar. But that's way too expensive. That is way too expensive. We're not getting there anytime soon. Maybe we can get the casual multicast stuff. That seems good. Uh, what do we want here? Lowering this seems... Uh, like lowering this cooldown just so we can fight the heroes a bit better seems good. Hello, friend. So you're kind of invincible. Never mind. <laughs> I think we're fine. We have disproven his invincibility. So I'm going to get rid of the magic wand. That didn't end up coming in at all. He's level 6. Oh, somebody's having a hard time. Oh my god. Alright then. Bit of a one-sided game. Although I do have to say... This has been my experience with playing the PvE, uh, PvP version of this mode. It's pretty much just been games equally one-sided as this one. So, maybe proceed with caution if you want to play the PvP version. Hello there, Sven. Can we, can we get it? Oh no. Trying to get some hits in. Not enough. Maybe you. Nice. Attack damage is good. More counter spell. I'll lower this cooldown to 6 seconds. Damn, that's gonna be great. Almost level 18 for it too. Yeah, 6 second cooldown on Finger of Death. Hardly anything. Less cooldown than Hex at this stage. Although we can lower that cooldown still quite a bit. Alright, we got a multicast staff. I'll just put that into this inventory slot for now. Put our butterfly over here. Just make some space, right? So now we have a 30% chance to multicast. Which is quite handy. There's definitely a bit of an annoyance to playing this mode because you just have to find your opponent since they get spawned pretty far away from you. So you just have to hunt them down. Hello, buddy. What are you doing? Just straight up not having a good time? <laughs> is that what's going on? <laughs> Level 8 isn't inspiring now, is it? Oh. Reaper side. Interesting. Not anywhere near enough. But interesting nonetheless.
I gotta get myself another level of chemical rage. I'm gonna uh, max that out as well. There we go. That's very nice. And at this stage, I think we just get more earth spike probably. I mean, it's not like super important. I'm thinking we'll grab a blink dagger so we can move a bit more aggressively and actually hunt people down. And then also, oh, it seems to me like getting us an Ioscardi would be a good idea. Again, so we can actually hunt people down. That seems to be the main issue at this point. Although our opponents, they're just struggling against the creeps. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. Hello. Nice. No chance for you. There's also bounty. Ice Blast is scary, though. So there's definitely a danger just with that. Hello. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. Nice. Let's go. I didn't expect I was even going to be in danger here. But turns out the Sven does have some power. Right-click power. Oh, hello. Finger. Not enough. Damn. Thunder Gods. Not Thunder Gods, Wrath. God's Strength. There you go. God's Strength and Unleash. <gasps> How would you improve the PvP more to be less snowballing? Um, I mean, honestly, it just needs some sort of redrafting, right? Like, because right now the mode works in a very snowboardy way. If there's not really anything you can do to prevent the snowball, because a lot of it just comes down to, well, our opponents have better abilities, or they have abilities that kind of counter our abilities. Anyway, either way, it's, it's just like a matter of what you got during that initial drafting stage, and there isn't really a, ma a way to make up for that anymore. If you get, get a bad draft, then... I guess you lose. And the rest of the game is a bit of a formality at that stage. So if the game was uh, is meant to be less snowbally, then what it needs is it needs a way to let the losing team maybe redraft their abilities or something like that. To be honest, this mode does feel a little bit like it could use some redrafting features in general. But I can kind of see why that maybe might be something that you don't want. Because I feel like at that stage the game would be quite involved with the redrafting. And it seems to me like it's more of a game that's supposed to be like, oh, turn off your brain, play a little bit. You know what I mean? Ooh, hello there. Take this. Um, this guy, I'm just coming in. I'm going to just throw in a finger. There you go. And there we go. So, the game doesn't have a proper win screen. It doesn't say that you won. But, um, you know, it ends here. So, that's uh, what it is. That is a Vampire Survivors in Dota. Dota! survivors i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up i would definitely appreciate that and i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye